Hello and thank you for joining me in yet another Straight Business Talk where we talk about some of the things which we should be considering about when we are in business or working for ourselves or thinking about working for ourselves or thinking about having a startup or even working for someone else. I'm David Amerland and today we are going to discuss hard work or rather we're going to talk about the myth of hard work. I know that we've been told, all of us, since time immemorial that if we work hard, if we put in the graft we're going to get where we want to in life. And this is, strictly speaking, not true. Sure, if we work hard, if we put in the graft, we're going to survive just fine. Surviving, however, is not success. Success looks a little bit different. And although you may have your own personal definition of what success looks like for you, generically speaking, success means that you're relatively independent of the situation around you. If, for example, you can quit your job, stop working for a year and still be fine, that's a relative measure of success because you're doing things which you want to do and you're not being forced by circumstances to do the things which your environment around you and your circumstances are trying to make you do. If you can just pack things up and go off around the world for a year and still be fine, that's success. So that kind of freedom, that kind of ability to make those decisions, that's relatively speaking again what success really looks like. Everybody else, and you may be, there may be people who are materially wealthy, but they're tied into their situation so tightly they can't actually do that. Well, they may be wealthy, but they're not successful. So success essentially is freedom. If you're looking for that kind of approach in your life, then essentially you need to succeed. And if you need to succeed, you need to work hard. But hard work on its own isn't enough. Why isn't it enough? Because essentially the amount of energy you pour into what you're doing, the amount, the volume, the sheer volume of work you're actually doing won't get you to where you, you want to get to if it's not directional. And the only way it can become directional is by you having an automatic and mostly automated way of prioritizing what it is you have to do from the choices that circumstances present to you each day. What do I mean by that? Well, it's the old chestnut. Essentially, you need to have your very own sense of purpose. If you have that sense of purpose defined, then you also have dialed in to a great extent who you are. And if you know who you are, then you have a clearer understanding of what you're doing. Your values are clearer to you, your choices are clearer to you, and when options are presented to you, it is clearer to you what it is you have to do and which ones you have to pick and which ones you have to discard. So if your purpose is dialed in, if your identity is dialed in, if your sense of, of what it is that you actually want to achieve with your life, as your, as your whole life, is dialed in, then success becomes more attainable, freedom becomes more attainable, because then all the hard work which you will put in is geared to take you in that direction. None of what I've just discussed is easy. It is a lot easier to sort of conceptualize them and present them in a layer and say, this is what you have to do. I'm fully aware that each one of these steps which I presented you with requires a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, a lot of personal hard work on yourself as a project for self-improvement and self-development. I hope this helps. I'm going to link to some more resources on YouTube to help you out there, so do check them out. Let me know in the comments below how you found this. Take care of yourselves. Be safe out there.